with GPUs coming down to near their MSRP, if not at their MSRP, um, there's probably a lot of people out there wondering, okay, can I upgrade uh, my GPU and what kind of bottleneck uh, can I expect? Uh, so using a Ryzen 5 3600, which is probably one of the most popular GPUs back when, or CPUs when it first came out, uh, it's a six core 12 thread processor CPU. Um, and regardless if you're using a 3600, any of the 2000 series uh, CPUs um, are going to perform similarly to an extent. Uh, same with like an Intel 10400 or in that kind of uh, similar uh, CPU category up to like an i7 uh, for 10th gen and 11th gen. If you go up to like the 10900, you're starting to get into a different league. Uh, those are much more uh, powerful CPUs, but for the most part, any 3000 series AMD or i7 and lower, uh, 10th gen and 11th gen uh, CPU, you will get fairly similar uh, performance. Uh, anyway, we're using this CPU with a 6700 XT, which is kind of a mid to high end um, GPU. Now, I ran it with several games. Uh, all these games are at 1080p and were maxed out to either very high, ultra, whatever the max settings were. Now taking a look at a synthetic benchmark like 3D Marks, uh, also on to note, I used the 5900X as a comparison. Um, uh, so there should be very little bottleneck with a 6700 using a 5900X. Um, and in this regard, we're seeing about 2,000 point difference between a 3600 versus a 5900X. Um, so we're not getting huge uh, differences. Um, going on to the next one, uh, we've used uh, the benchmark for Assassin's Creed Origin, um, average frames, uh, FPS was 64 with the 3600 versus 74. Uh, with the 5900X. So in this game, fairly close. Um, not too much of a bottleneck. Uh, going on to breakpoint, we start to see a bigger, uh, a larger bottleneck, uh, bigger difference. Um, the 3600 had an average of 78 frames, whereas the 5900X had an average of 104. And you can see GPU utilization here went from 78% up to 92%. Uh, Far Cry 5, again, got a pretty big uh, difference between 3600 average frames at 83 versus 5900X at 107. Uh, so we're starting to see a couple of games here where we have a larger, uh, a larger bottleneck. Uh, Horizon 5, uh, again, some of these games are quite new and we're seeing, again, the average for the 3600 at 74 and the 5900X moving up to 99 frames uh, per second average. So we are uh, getting into, yeah, again, larger larger variances. And then last but not least, we have Shadow of the Tomb, Tomb Raider, uh, which has quite uh, a bottleneck with the 3600. We're going from 104 uh, frames on average with 3600 up to 138 frames. Um, so, uh, we looked at everything piecemeal here, uh, taking a look at everything combined. Um, gaming wise, we're seeing probably on average a 30% bottleneck, which is quite a bit. Um, you can expect there to be a bottleneck, uh, regardless of what your CPU and GPU combination is. Something's going to bottleneck some, uh, something else. So either your CPU is going to be much more powerful than the GPU or the GPU is going to be much more powerful um, than the CPU, but you will see some kind of bottleneck. Um, around 5% is nothing to worry about. Um, you, you can probably expect that, but getting up to 30% bottleneck, uh, that's quite a bit. That's, that's, a, that's a large uh, difference between a 3600 and 5900X. Um, now, if you move into something as simple as a 5600X, you will get similar performance gaming wise as a 5900X. Um, again, not gonna be the same, 
there will be a small bottleneck, but there's nothing compared to a 3600. The 3600 versus the 5600X, both six core 12 thread processors um, are miles apart because the 5600X has a much better uh, single core performance. Uh, and that's what is the determining factor in all of this. It's six cores, 12 threads, plenty of uh, cores. Um, that's not the issue. It's the single core performance. There is a big difference between uh, previous gen CPUs and the current gen CPUs, whether it be the 12th gen Intel or the 5000 series uh, AMD Ryzen's. The, it's that single core performance that makes a big difference. Now, this is 1080p. If you were to bump this up to 1440p uh, or up to 4K, uh, these bottlenecks uh, will dip down. They probably be non-existent because you're becoming much more GPU dependent and not as much CPU dependency. So I think, believe even if you went up to a 1440p, uh, this bottleneck would pretty much all but disappear. Um, anyway, that's uh, uh, my assessment. I hope this helps in helping you decide whether which, uh, well, I guess I should probably also add, um, if you were to go down to say a 6600 XT or 3060 Ti, um, those two and lower 6600, 6600 XT, 3060, 3060 Ti um, get about two thirds the performance as a 6700 XT. Um, so if you were to go with one of those GPUs, you'd probably see no, um, you see a much smaller uh, bottleneck that would be negligible. Uh, those GPUs would definitely pair well with uh, a 3600, a 10400, something in that range. Um, if you have any comments, questions, please leave them in the comments down below. Thanks.